I would like to say something. Um, I, I would like to say that what I've seen here this, this week says that clearly, you know, XMRV at best, what we originally set out to do five years ago was a systems biology approach. We use those genomic technologies with Mike Dean and Mary Carrington. We use the microarray from the NCI uh, to, to screen all the pathogens. And what we saw was what we heard from Mary Schweitzer, that a lot of um, active pathogens and things like shingles, things like enteroviruses, things like EBV, CMV, HHV6, they're all totally on in that microarray. Um, in NCI's infinite wisdom, it didn't put XMRV on it. So <laughs> that's how we ended up going back. But we didn't look with a hypothesis for retroviruses. We took the systems biology approach, collected samples from well-defined patients who had the infectious characteristics that Tony Komaroff talked about and that were in the low study that Dan Peterson had done. Or these patients had data on them for decades. We took samples over three years. So it wasn't that we found the virus in every sample indicate, like the macaque study, where it quickly went into the tissues, like the mouse study that came up this week that said the, vir the antibody responses were weak and transient. We don't know everything about this virus, but HIV does not cause AIDS. The CDC definition is HIV and one of 25 copathogens. So the Lyme, the EBV, the uh, enteroviruses, Martin Lerner's patients who don't get better with the alcite, this is a reasonable hypothesis because we see the same thing. We've developed, developed a cytokine signature that is distinct from Nancy's cytokine signature and from Ben Nadelson's. So this is a, a marker to follow on clinical trial improvement. But there's no doubt these people are infected with HTLV1. HTLV1, if you're seropositive and you're sick, you can get some kind of treatment. I'm not saying antiretrovirals, I'm saying immune modulators. So the patients that are found to be infected now, and there are thousands of them, need, need something now, not three years from now when Lipkin decides there's an association. Whatever their disease is, they're infected and sick. And I know John has patients that are, or Chia has patients who are co-infected and they don't treat the same way. So we can get together with the physicians who have co-infected patients, even Lyme doctors we're working with across the country, and start doing something now. Take it out of CFS. It's not about CFS. It's, it's, it's about a retrovirus we don't understand very well. As Frank <coughs> said, he said at a meeting a month or so ago, if this were HIV, it would be 1983. That's all.